Hi, I'm Dave Sidden, Executive Director at Wildlife Images. And I'm not in here because I've been really, really bad. This is our evacuation crate for one of our grizzly bears. And of course, it had to be made uh, grizzly bear solid. So we just finished fabricating this. We're getting it in place as an evacuation option if we had to get ready to leave because of the fires approaching us. So the crate, of course, has to be very solid and it has to be able to house a grizzly bear. And chances are the grizzly bear is not gonna be super happy about being in the crate. And uh, so we've got partnerships with uh, other zoological facilities that'll help us house an animal for a long term if we have to for weeks or whatever. But most of the animals here at Wildlife Images go through a rigorous training process so that when we have to put them in a crate, it's accepted and easy to do. We use positive reinforcement. We move them into a crate, reward them for being in the crate and make it a positive thing. So if a fire does come here, we can quickly move a cougar into a crate, which would normally have to be sedated to do so, or maybe an angry badger or something like that. We can move them into a crate easily and then transport them to a safe place away from the fire. And of course, the long-term answer is, of course, finding a facility where you can let the animals come out and have some fresh air and uh, it's not stay in the crate for long, long periods of time. So it's a very detailed plan. And of course, now we're a member of ZAA, which is Zoological Association of America. And they help us with a, a plan. And of course, we have fire equipment here at Wildlife Images. Unfortunately, found out we had a hole in our fire trucks, a water tank, so that wasn't much help. Uh, but anyway, we're working on making it better and better and more fireproof here at Wildlife Images, clearing any brush that we can and that sort of thing so we can protect the animals. But a lot of people want to know, how are we going to evacuate these animals? We have a great game plan, a great staff and crates for every animal. We will only employ those things as necessary. So if we get to level three and have to evacuate, that's when we'll do it. So if you'd like any more information about wildlife images, how you can become a volunteer, a donor, a member, maybe put us in your estate planning, log on to the website, wildlifeimages.org, and you get all the information you need right there. So we'll look forward to seeing you again next time on another episode of Walk in the Wild Side.